This Japanese monster is a nuclear hybrid of a gorilla and a whale. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be taking a look at the origins of Godzilla. Godzilla. This iconic movie monster made his debut in the 1954 film Gojira before it became internationally known as Godzilla. It's Find Gojira, it. you moron! The overseas success of movies like King Kong inspired Tamayuki Tanaka to invent such a creature. He drew inspiration from the relatively recent atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki and invented a monster to serve as a metaphor for the destructive power of nuclear armaments. Godzilla's design conjured images of prehistoric reptiles as seen in children's books. This beast was conceived as a hybrid of marine and land-based vertebrates, and so included elements from a Tyrannosaurus rex, Stegosaurus, Iguanodon, and Crocodile. Even the name Gojira conveyed this message, as it meshed the Japanese words for gorilla and whale. In his first ever appearance, Godzilla rose from the sea at the beginning of the Atomic Age. He ate entire fishing boats and was feared as an ancient sea god. Archaeologists began investigating after he attacked an island and called upon the army when they found the terrifying creature. Godzilla survived the military attack and climbed from Tokyo Bay to level the city unchallenged. It was only through the use of a prototype weapon, in this case the oxygen destroyer, that the beast was finally killed. However, the scientist who carried out the mission committed suicide, and so similar devastating effects would never be seen again. Of course, the franchise survived the death of its star, as Godzilla was only the first of his kind. The monsters that followed underwent countless cosmetic changes, but thankfully maintained the signature yell and giant mutated dinosaur appearance, complete with long powerful tail and jagged bone-like dorsal fins. Another mainstay of the franchise was Godzilla's atomic beam. This powerful ray of energy was charged by his glowing spines and fired from his mouth to melt through hard surfaces and evaporate water. Godzilla was originally conceived as charcoal gray in appearance. However, promotional artwork for the first film portrayed the beast as green in color, and so he eventually adopted that look in many of his later movies. As any good fan would know, Godzilla's thick hide made him all but immune to conventional weaponry, and he was able to regenerate if something did manage to cause him injury. Yet his most famous characteristic was his roar, which was created by slowing down the sound of a resin-covered leather glove rubbing across a double bass. <laughs> However, he also had weaknesses. Godzilla was vulnerable to strong voltages of electricity, but oddly not lightning. He was also susceptible to super weapons like the Oxygen Destroyer, Cadmium, and Mecha Godzilla. Mecha Godzilla. Despite his reputation as a horrifying monster, Godzilla was sometimes recast as a heroic figure and was altered to appeal to younger children. Throughout Godzilla's storied history, he has appeared in countless series, but the character's narrative split into three different eras. The first era was the Showa series that ran from 1954 to 1975. It ended with the terror of Mecha Godzilla and was defined by its increasingly lighthearted portrayal. During this time, Godzilla became an anthropomorphic anti-hero and met his arch-enemy, King Ghidorah. This era also saw the introduction of most of his enemies, including Mothra and Rodan. From 1984 to 1995, the High Sea series ignored the original timeline. Return of Godzilla acted as a direct sequel to the original film and portrayed a more animalistic monster as well as its original mutation. Finally, 1999 to 2004's Millennium series showcased an alternate continuity. This era was preceded by the infamous big-budget Hollywood adaptation in 1998 that used CGI. Due to copyright issues, Godzilla's iconic roar did not appear in the film. Godzilla is one movie monster that has become entrenched in popular culture. He is instantly recognizable across the globe due to his countless appearances and parodies, and has even earned a spot on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and a Lifetime Achievement Award. And it's no wonder, who doesn't love watching this giant lizard destroy everything? 